Welcome back to Pseudo Sergeant. In this segment, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna go back to hardware and we're gonna look at the Raspberry Pi A+. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna field strip it. Um, we'll remove the GPIO, USB, AV connector, camera, HDMI, and the display. We'll leave in place the power and the SD card slot. And the reason we want to do this is so that we can slim down the profile of the Raspberry Pi um, for projects where we don't have a lot of space and we want to keep things compact. I'm going to start by removing the GPIO header. Um, there's a lot of pins here and fortunately I have this fancy dancy desoldering unit. What I'll do, I'll overflow these, um, these pins with solder and then once I get them all flowing with uh, a new, new layer of solder, then I'll come back and I will suck the solder out of them with the solder sucker. When I come in with the desoldering iron, I'll put it over the pin and I'll kind of go in a circular motion around the pin for a little bit, sort of touching the pin and then making contact a little bit with the pad. And then I might hold it like uh, horizontal and then uh, I'll pull the trigger. And basically what happens is there's a suction in here, a motor, motorized sucker, and then it, it sucks the solder off of there into this little canister there. So I'll just do that for the rest of the pins. Okay, so I got pretty much most of the solder off of the leads here. Well, now I'm gonna try to and pry up the header, and, but I also may pull some more of these pins out, just like uh, pulling teeth and stuff, but I don't, don't really envision reusing this header for anything. And if I really did want to reuse this header, once I get it off, I could just put the pins back into the header. But I'm just going to see if I can pry it off. I think in a few spots there's still some solder on the pins, but for the most part it should just come off. So I'll pull off this plastic part of the header here and just get the rest of these pins out. There's this also this interesting thing that happens is like sometimes the solder gets pulled up into the header there and it, and it pulls off and it makes it leaves behind these uh, solder stalactites or stalagmites or whatever. Anyway, I'll just uh, clean those off, not a big deal. And then if I want the pins cleaned out, maybe I'll go over them a little bit more with the solder, just a little bit, and then come back with the solder sucker and uh, suck out the solder so then all the holes will be opened up. Next I'm going to move on to removing this USB jack. This is going to be pretty easy. Um, it's just five, uh, six connectors here. The three pins there and then two pins for ground. I'll pretty much do the same, use the same uh, process as I uh, did with the GPIO header. Save for one thing, I'm going to change the tip on the, um, the desoldering, the solder sucker here, uh, to um, this one with a larger diameter. And that is so that I can accommodate these large ground pins. It'll also provide a lot more heat. So same as before, I come in and I'll put a lot of extra solder on the pins just to um, break everything free and also warm up the pins so they're ready for uh, the solder sucker. There, I just applied heat to the pins and wiggled it off. Slowly wiggling it and applying heat will get it to come off and that, that worked for me. So there's another component that I've taken off and can be reused for something else. Next, I'll move on to, I'll try and take this AV plug off. It's gonna be a very similar process here. It's just, it's through hole. So there's five pins there. I'm gonna apply some solder, get that flowing, and then come in with the uh, smaller tipped desoldering iron there. And uh, I'll go ahead and do that. There it is. So now we've got the AV jack removed. Suppose I could come back and uh, get the solder out of these holes there. And then come back with the desoldering iron, hold that in place. Come here, get some heat on that side. Get a little bit of heat on this side. This is kind of a little tricky because the, uh, the camera port and the HDMI are so close together. I think I'll go for the HDMI first. So again, I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some solder on these pins for the HDMI and then uh, see if I can break this loose. Well, it's wiggle free, there we go. I got it out. So here is the HDMI. So with this HDMI, all these data pins here, they're not actually soldered to the board. So the only, one, the only pins that need to be Desoldered are these four here. 
and then it just pries right up because they're they're just held on by uh, pressure. Seems to be all that was keeping them in place. Next, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and remove this camera port here. Removing these flat flex um, ribbon cable connectors can be a little little challenging here, especially since the surface mount. Yep. So I'm just going to go I'll go ahead and do this. All right, so I got that one on. Fairly destructive process. These things are pretty difficult to remove. I have yet to really take one off without destroying it. I was hoping maybe, maybe I could have done that, but I don't know. Uh, what about this one? You think I can take this one off without destroying it? You know what, I'm gonna try hot air. See what sort of results I can get with this. All right, I've managed to non-destructively remove this connector. I suppose with patience and a lot of heat, it'll just come off. Now that's how I field strip a Raspberry Pi A+. If you have a different method, comments, questions, advice, recommendations, suggestions, or if there's a different device that you'd like to see field stripped, please visit element14.com forward slash pseudosergeant and leave your comments there. I'm the pseudosergeant. I'll see you on the command line. Have fun and stuff.